with Black Box Radio. We're doing that Rona report. So it's, we got the smart back man, Adam Jackson. What's How about good? black man, not back man? I heard black. <laughs> I heard back. I don't oh, you know. Did. What you hear, Adam? Did you hear back? I thought you said Batman. So I was like, smart Batman. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Smart black man, Adam Jackson. <laughs> What's good with you? I'm pretty cool. We're just trying to adjust, you know, to the to the new reality, but I'm doing all right. What's the adjustment to this reality? What is it? Well, who who are we talking to real quick? Like I said Adam, Adam Jackson, smart black man. What's going on? Are you with us? <laughs> yeah, what does that mean though? What does that mean for the people who are listening for the first time? Oh, that's true. Well, tell them what that means, Adam Jackson. What is smart black man? Tell them. Well, well, I uh, do well. I do a lot of political work. That's my that's my social media. But I use uh, my platform to advance uh, political advocacy uh, for for the black community here in Baltimore with my organization, Leaders of the Beautiful Struggle. So we're a grassroots think tank uh, here in Baltimore. Uh, this year will be our tenth year uh, being around doing political work, and uh, a lot of our uh, work in Baltimore centers on advocating for laws and policies that benefit the black community. And also fighting racist laws that work to uh, hurt the, hurt our communities. Okay, so in this event in history that we're all going through, that has put us in a, a chaotic space that we can't even control. Mm-hmm. How are you functioning? What's going on with you? What's good? Well, I mean, like like most people, I didn't really understand the uh, the severity of any of like anything dealing with uh, COVID nineteen. Okay. Because um, I was uh, I was in the middle of doing work last week. Matter, matter of fact, last Monday. Um, I was just kind of talking through, we were talking about upcoming events and we were like, are we going to cancel our events because of the coronavirus? And I was like, no, nah, I ain't going to cancel no event. So pass through. I got it completely did not understand what was, what was happening, the magnitude. And then when they shut down schools and they, like a lot of the major civic institutions and restaurants and, you know, all the major gathering places and large events, when I saw around the world that that was happening, um, that's when I finally understood and so um, a lot of our stuff has been either halted or put on pause because we have to like practicing social distancing because of the virus is really important, according to you know a lot of the public health professionals. So it's been really difficult to do a lot of things because you know, a lot of our work requires us to be in community. Because your job is like an intimate interaction, right, with, with, with the community. So this is really stagnant what you do. Yeah, I mean, we do because it's a combination of like doing, uh, you know, community based work, but also like, you know, being in neighborhoods with folks, but also, you know, legislators, with, yeah. you know, legislators meeting with people. I mean, we were in the middle of the 2020 Maryland General Assembly, you know, where we, all the state legislators convened to pass laws and they ended it early. And so mm-hmm. a, a lot of the major issues we were advocating for this year. Um, it's been, we, we won't know the outcome of them until much later when they reconvene. So we had to literally stop what we were doing and, you know, kind of, and, and hopefully we'll, when it, when it picks back up, we'll be able to get some of those things we were working on done, but there's no telling when. So what's your, what's your day-to-day life like now? Um, since you can't do those things that you normally do, you know, for myself, I've had to like actually make a work schedule for myself because otherwise, you know, you. But the days just kind of start running into each other. It's only been like yeah, a week. Yeah, you be messing around, be chilling. You're sitting at the house. You're supposed to be doing stuff that you do at the house, right? <laughs> right, right. And the, and the days just start running into each other because because you cannot go outside. Like, they, or they yep. say you don't interact with people. So you just, so I've stocked up on food and everything. But, like, you know, you try to be productive. But then, like, it's almost, what I feel like it's happening to me is that every time I start doing really serious work, I'm like, oh, I got to go somewhere to do that. Or I can't do that. Or, this, mm-hmm. you know, so I'm just kind of like, kind of feel stuck in this kind of weird loop at the moment. So I know that a, a big part of it, a big part of what you do is communications. Uh, have you been stepping up in terms of the communications that you're putting out? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, the, the, the difficult thing is, um, you know, because I know my lane, I know what I'm good at and I know things that I'm not so good at. Like, I know I, I know I'm pretty good at skilled at communications. But what I don't want people to do is to start seeing me as a as some kind of resource in terms of public health, because that's not right. what I do. But I there, are, there are people that are doing that. And so I'm trying to I, I'm, I'm either trying to direct people to resources and information or, you know, because I also don't want to feed into the anxiety of the general public. You know, and, mm-hmm. I, and I know that people are really freaking out. So and I know most this is like on the news, the daily evening news. This is all anyone wants to talk about. It's it's a it's a recurring news story. 
And, um, you know, people are genuinely, you know, anxious and on edge about, you know, what the virus is. So I don't, so I'm trying to make sure I share relevant things for like, you know, resources for community as opposed to being like, oh, you know, this many cases came in today or this is, you know, I'm trying to make sure that people know where to get food, make sure they, they, their lights won't get cut off, make sure they can get access to money if they need it. That's mm-hmm. the kind of stuff I've been focusing on. That's almost an LWT. Which you, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we do that last will and testament, real talk. So um, tell the people how you feel and um, kind of inspire them in this moment as we get ready to move towards a, a new week. Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, I think people should understand that it's okay to be anxious and it's okay to be scared. I would say that you shouldn't let that paralyze you from thinking of doing things that can, you know, really enhance and empower yourself during this time. Because, you know, I'm a, I'm a spiritual person myself. So I believe that, you know, when God puts you in a position to be still, you should listen and you should do the work necessary that uh, to, you should do the work necessary to improve yourself. So if you find yourself doing a lot of work and that's not satisfying, it could be the message could be that you need to be focusing on other things that you've been too busy for that now you have nothing but time to, to look at. And so there's a there's a silver lining in the in the in, in any situation, and I feel like this is uh, probably one of those instances that right now uh, we we probably don't see the utility or the value of being able to just of the uh, or the gift of being able to just sit and be still and be at home and to be with ourselves. Um, mm. And I feel like people need to people need to figure out ways to be more present with themselves, so that way when when they do come out of this, they don't go they don't go back to what they were doing. It could be a real, a really good opportunity to address some things that you've been putting the side or not thinking about or not confronting. So I think it's a, it's a, it could be a real powerful time if you allow it to be. That is what's up. Well, listen, stay. Wait, how long have you been? Let's let's hear this before we get out get out of here. How long have you self quarantined? How long have I you mean, been in the house so far? I, I think it's it's probably been a week now at least. Um, I've you've been I've in the left- house for a week. Really. <laughs> yeah, I've I've left the house like I've gone like grocery shopping and run little errands. You know, I've tried. My birthday was actually on Wednesday, mm-hmm. and so I tried to Uh-oh. like go, try to go to the park. You know, to to be outside, but all the every every fun place you could go to has been locked down. Yeah, it's locked down. That's true. People with the birthdays this month, this month, I'm feel sorry for you guys because ain't nothing you can do but celebrate by yourself or with your family in the house. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. In the house. So you've been in really for like five days. Just Straight. about. Wow. This is serious. I don't even know a time I've been in the house this much. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> I mean, this this is, I mean, and you're right. Sometimes we got to take time and just really do some self-building and, and just chill out for a minute. And this is the time. <laughs> this is the time. Mm-hmm. Well, we really appreciate you. We really do. And um, stay safe, stay inside, um, stay linked. And G, what you got for Adam? Hey, we really appreciate we really appreciate you taking a minute to reach out to the community. Um, you gave so much valuable information before, and I encourage anyone who's hearing this that hasn't heard Adam's full interview, make sure you go to blackboxradio.com and check that out. Um, Adam Jackson, leader of, Leaders of a Beautiful Struggle. Um, and also, if you're listening now and you got some catching up to do, you can go to blackboxfair.com and check out the over 30 interviews that we've already done with some powerful folks in the community. Um, and, you know, take put something else in your head, you know. Um, we really, really appreciate you for spending a little bit of time with us. Uh, blackboxradio.com, uh, at Blackbox on Instagram and Facebook. So just Hit us up and check us out. Real talk. Real talk. Listen, this is the Rona Report. Uh, what's the date? What's the date, Adam? What's the date? Yeah, the t- 20th. This is the 20th. So 32020 20, Rona Report. Adam Jackson. We out. Black Box Radio. Peace. Peace.